Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today on Habitat Hints, we're going to talk about the differences between mowing, like a nice mowed yard or lawn outside. We're, we're here in Springfield, so back behind me, this is a mowed area at a really cool popular uh, recreational area here in Springfield. But also, over here we have planted natives, so why? why have it mowed and why not have it mowed. So we're gonna talk all we can about that on Habitat Hints today and I'm actually gonna be joined with from MDC's Ashley Schnocky and she's gonna tell us a little bit more about this on today's Habitat Hints. All right, so Ashley, tell us what is happening here. We are here in Springfield Lake again. So what we got these beautiful natives going on behind mm -hmm. us, but also just right next to it, it's all nice clean cut mode. Why is it like that? And what's the purpose behind this? So it's like that because in an urban area, it's all about finding compromise between those mowed areas and those native areas. As an old urban wildlife biologist and part of the community conservation team, we understand that in certain areas, it needs to be mowed depending on what the purpose of the land is. In the area where we are right now, it is a recreational park area in the Springfield area. And oh, okay. they utilize the moat area for big events that they host. And then we realize that maybe we don't need to mow all of it. There's some opportunity for native plantings as well. So this habitat provides a diversity of plants, allowing for more pollinators and songbirds and just giving a, a really pretty view for those public users that are walking the trails also. Now, this here, how long, this is, how long has this been planted? I mean, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, so this is a five or six year old planting. So in establishment terms, this is a mature, fully established planting. Now, did it used to look like this, all clean cut and mowed, and then all of a sudden, the work and uh, partnership we work with, you have able to now plant natives there. Is that how it worked or how, how tell me how, how this hole went down. Yeah, so mm. initially this whole entire field was mowed just like we saw on the other side. So it and used to look like this. It used to all look like that. So now we, we are able to have some natives. That's how it all worked. Now we're able to have some natives because our partners put in the work and the effort to do so. Um, it's, it's a year of site prep. It's a winter of planting and it's three years of maintenance, of mowing maintenance to make sure we get it to where it is today. Also encompass incorporating fire into that management regime. So has this been um, prescribed burn? Yes, it, it has. has. Okay, yes. Did it, was it this year? Or? It was not this year, it was the year prior. All right, so what is the goal behind planting natives? You know, if someone at home and their own property uh, that's tuning in right now, that has been mowing everything and you know and they want to cut back from mowing and you know they don't need everything mowed and they want to plant it in natives or they want it to let it grow what would they do about that how would they go about learning more about this or how would they start that so you can start that there by going on our public website our mdc.mo.gov website it is a fantastic resource. You can go to your local conservation office. They have we have all kinds of publications about Mm -hmm. management about uh, where to begin and where, where to, to begin yeah. yes mm -hmm. um, establishment yeah. of natives and then you can also talk to a private land conservationist or a community conservation team member okay. to visit about getting a plan put together we do have cost share also available for these type of plantings also some perks of not mowing is you don't you aren't on the mower near as long. You can spend more time during the summer yeah. doing outdoor recreation instead of feeling like you need to be on the mower once or twice a week. We're a little droughty right now, so it's not mowing near as often, but yeah. it's still, I'm not gonna say no maintenance, but not as much maintenance as a manicured mowed lawn. When we say no maintenance, because there is still maintenance involved with a native planting. Mm -hmm. One of those is mainly in monitoring for invasive species that have the potential to come into a native planting, such as Johnson grass and Cerisa lespedeza. Now, one of the big goals I would say behind this is having a better environment and providing, oh, sure. you know, providing the, you know, natives and having, you know, the flowers and, 
and pollinators the opportunity, correct? Is that kind of the goal? You know, if someone at home, and this is very simple to do, right? Someone here in Springfield, this is why I love it. We're here in Springfield, Missouri. If someone here in their backyard, they have a pretty decent sized backyard and they want to do this, they could do this. They definitely can and it will help the environment. We're noticing, especially in urban areas, that there is quite a large diversity of pollinators that utilize an urban area and you can create a home for them in your backyard if if you wanted to. And mm -hmm. not just for the pollinators, but for an increase in songbirds and other cool wildlife that utilize our urban areas. Awesome, awesome. Again, Ashley, I really appreciate you doing this and talking to us about this. And it's as simple as, like Ashley said, getting on our website at nbc.mo.gov and searching in the search bar, you know, natives, planting pollinators, pollinated, uh, planting pollination plants or planting those natives that pollinators are going to interact with. Or if you don't have any clue, you need some questions answered. You can contact your local office or you can check out on our website at mdc.mo.gov uh, your local private lands conservationist who's going to be able to help you out and point you in the right direction. Again, I appreciate it, Ashley. Thank you very much uh, for watching Habitat Hints today and if you and we will see you next time.